What's up, fools? What's up, fool? That's right. That's Martin Rizzo right here <laughs> on the open mics of Steel's right here, chilling side by side. Rodrigo had to do an errand, you know, for his dad. You have to, bro. You have to, right? Gotta be the good son. You gotta be the good son. Somebody gotta do it, bro. I'm not that son, bro. Are you that son? <laughs> I don't have a dad, bro. Okay. okay. <laughs> we learned that last yeah. week. <laughs> Are you the, your mom's go to when something happens? Yeah, I know. I have like other cousins. But like uh, sometimes me. Like if you know? something happens in your family, who, are you the go-to? Like they're gonna call you. No, no, I'm not re reliable. I can't, I can't even say the word reliable, dude. Okay. <laughs> Neither am I, bro. Like, I mean, I didn't put myself in that position, but I'm not the one they call. My, my brother Fernando is the one they call. Like he's the one that goes, "Hey, man, my mom fell off the bed. We need your help, you know? <laughs> or we gotta put my mom in. We need something." My brother is the one to go to. Like, oh, I had lunch with my mom. He's the responsible yeah, one. He's the responsible every one. Week and everything. My yeah. cousin who uh, worked at SpaceX, he's the responsible one too. Like for any, uh, so he he worked at SpaceX. Then he worked at uh, what's it called? Uh, he was helping build a spaceship for uh, Richard Bronson. Jet Propulsion Lab. Yeah, yeah, in uh, in the desert. And I was like, I, I swear, when he was going up in space, uh, Richard Bronson, like, oh, please don't let's fucking Richard <laughs> Branson. Richard Branson, the the. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. So when the spaceship was going up, I was like, oh, don't let this fucking spaceship fall apart, bro. Because don't fucking blame, like, the fucking Mexican that was working so on it. So you're, 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 um, and Mickey Mouse. Your cousin is responsible for sending William Shatner in space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Because uh, he went, he, that's he, Bezos, he, isn't that's it? Bezos, that's yeah. Bezos, yeah. my yeah. bad. He, I'll, so I'll, he, he worked on SpaceX a little bit on the spaceship. Then after that, he moved to, uh, Virgin Air, well, not Virgin Airlines. What the fuck? It's just something Virgin. I forgot the company. Virgin America. It was Virgin. Virgin it was, uh, Virgin British, or, right? Or Virgin. Yeah, it was Virgin um, Air. Virgin yeah, Virgin Air. Air. Now they work for, they were bought by Alaska Air. But that's what I was thinking, dude. If that fucking spaceship fucks up and falls, they're going to fucking be like, el, el Mic they, somebody did a Mickey Mouse on that shit, bro. You know? <laughs> I know, man. Like, I was doing a radio interview for, Midland, Texas, which I'm going to be at this Saturday night at the Wagner Noel Theater. Get tickets Woo! at FelipeWorld.com. But I was doing an interview for that show, and they asked me about William Shatner going into space. And I was like, oh, man, I hope he didn't Shatner on himself. Yay. He goes, what were you, he goes, what do you feel about uh, William Shatner going into space? I don't know, but let's check his underwear when he comes back in. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I trip out. Like, I. If anything, I was more tripped out that he was ninety. That he's ninety years old, man. What I'm tripping now is that is, is is he healthy enough to go there, bro? Like, did he pass every house check, every health test? You know, like, can he touch his toes? Can he breathe in? Because going into space, bro, is serious. Well, I seen movies, bro, where where they gotta like. They gotta be in this thing and they spin you around forever to check if your motion sickness. I think that was the Simpsons, bro. <laughs> no, they're doing it. <laughs> yeah, they they, they yeah, got they, it from a movie too. They got it from uh, Apollo, right? Apollo yeah. thirteen. That's the one that um, Homer got on, right? And he couldn't take it. And his face turned into Popeye. What? It's funny how they give you all these scenarios that 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 might happen to a pilot, and a lot of people don't make it because they can't handle the scenario. But most of the time, when the, the biggest scenario is just getting shot down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like, like you can't you can't fucking make it. Like once you get like all that spinning, you're trying to avoid, you know, uh -huh. on the test. It's all the spinning you're going to get when you're already dead when the plane's falling. Yeah, that's true. So uh, what's it called? So the, the British testing you. Are, are you going to they want you to live through while your while your while your, um, while your plane is going down, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Why? I guess in case you survive. I remember my, my grandma, uh, when we went to the video store, like a long time ago, uh, uh, what's it called? Blockbuster. She thought uh, Apollo 13 was a movie about chickens. What? Apo oh, pollo. Uh, uh, <laughs> like, no. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were going to say that. She thought it was a, a, a sequel to Rocky Apollo 13. And she was going to say, I didn't see 1 through 12. <laughs> but you know, that simulation, when you're talking about going into space, at Disney World, they have a ride that simulates rocketing into space. And I got on that shit, dude. It fucking, dude. Did you get on that shit? Your chest caves in, dude. It fucking, it's insane. Not interested. Oh, <laughs> no. no. Sh shit, the new shirt. I got one for you too, Martin, but I didn't want to search right now. Oh, for thank your you. Size. That's why, people, this is the What's Up Fool podcast. 
new T-shirt, which might be sold at the at the next LA show. Fuck yeah, dude! That's well, cool. yeah, it's gonna be sold at um, not this not this weekend's shows, but the next weekend, and I'll I should have it up on the website probably tomorrow. We're gonna have hoodies too. Oh fuck! And we're that gonna have hoodies, cool. zip, zip up hoodies. No, no, no. Zip up hoodies. <laughs> Silk screen on the chest, and they'll be zip up. We'll have embroidered beanies, but I have to work on those. Damn, dude. I got to start knitting now. What ride are you talking <laughs> Getting back to that Disneyland, what ride are you talking about or the motion ride? It's, I think it's at Epcot. Oh, Epcot Mission in Mars. Florida. Mission of Mars, dude. And, dude, it's seriously, if you're on that shit for a long time, your chest is fucking caving in. And, like, I mean, I don't know if that's how it actually is to go to space, but. I'm sure there's a lot of pressure, so probably. Right? But how did William Shatner survive all this, bro? <laughs> bro, he's 90. Captain Kirk, homie. He's, he's Captain fucking, Kirk. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> But if anything, oh, what probably feels maybe similar to that is the Superman ride. That shit's fucking. I went on the Superman ride. I was pregnant and I shouldn't have been up there, but I went up there. <laughs> I, I, I had a long I, neck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wasn't that far along yet, but yeah, that was funny. But that shit, Superman's fucking crazy. Yeah, and like, you're up there for a second and then you just whoosh, go back. I, I, Superman is, and there's a little tiny Superman doll up there. Superman should just be called. Hey, this is what happens when the elevator breaks. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. And they don't let and you. They know rescue you real fast. And they don't let you know when's gonna take off. They just fucking boom. Oh, but. This is the one that goes straight down, right? Up. Oh up my and god. Down. And they're there for down a backwards. Bit. Yeah. And then yeah. you can see some part of the fucking grapevine up there, dude. Hell I don't nah. even look. I don't even know why I go I'll go up there because I can't even oh look. God. I can feel it right now. My body <laughs> going down. Um, Philip and I, we went to we went to um, we went to um Griffith Park and they have the stimulator, and Lisa never been in a stimulator. Right next to the simulator. Stimulator. It's I was not stimulated. A, I better not get stimulated <laughs> in there. I was, it was a simulator, right? And it starts off. Like a roller coaster and it spins a little bit. I, I, I don't. I, I know we're in a capsule, but to me, it always feels like we went up a real high, big mountain, and it feels like we're going down. I like that simulator. I'd rather be in a simulator than the actual ride, because um, when you're going down, it's like there's a fan that throws wind at you, so it kind of feels like you're going down, dude. So it's almost like a Star Wars, the ride. More, more like the Simpsons ride. Simpsons are okay. Yeah. Yeah. But are you're on a um you're on like a jib arm? I don't know what a jib arm is. Jib arm like a like a like a little thing that lifts up a car, like an individual car that you're in and it shakes you around yes, it and does. moves you up and down and back and forth. It does. Okay. And there's a full, there's a video right in front of us. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of like the Transformers and the Transformers. Movie. I haven't been on Star Wars ride. Star Wars. Oh, wait, wait, is that a Disney? That's Disney, no, but that Disney. But that ride was there <laughs> way before a Disney bought Star Wars. Because mm -hmm. I think before that, it used to be, uh, what's it called? Uh, they had the Michael Nemo. Jackson. No, was it Michael Jackson, right? Captain Neo. Captain, Captain Neo. Neo, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love that show. I saw that movie at Epcot after it came out. Like, I went to Epcot for grad night. That was weird. Bad. See, I never saw, I didn't see Captain Neo until like a year ago uh, for my first time on YouTube. And it, I, it was like a lost Michael Jackson music girl to me. It was badass, dude. Fucking, I was like, what the fuck? How, how did I never fucking see this before? It was, yeah. <laughs> it was when like, I was in rehab, the lady that was, that was running the house, like there were the people, there were people running the house, the homes, you know, where we live, but she, she ran the house where she lived there and she ran, she did the paperwork. She had um, all the paperwork of that ride in like in, it written down and drawn out in um you mean like the plans the plans the architectural plans with plan? red and blue color it red somebody her, her son drew it out with blue and red pens hmm. so it was all drawn out in 3D on a on a, on drafting paper she said that she was work her son was working with another guy and then like he went crazy you know like his anxiety his, whatever it was going through his head and his his friend took the idea and boom oh that's and sucks. stole it from him but I didn't believe her, but then she brought out all this paperwork, bro. Like all the plans and his ideas and uh -huh. the scraps. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> Damn. That, that lady, that lady was crazy, bro. She was a madame in Hollywood, bro. Before Fl Heidi flies. <laughs> La madame. My son was. Well, my son went to her dad. Uh, as Doctor Flies. Doctor Flies. Doctor Paul Flies. 
He's a great pediatrician. And then he died. He got hit by a car while he was riding his bike. How old was he? He was like 80. <clears throat> and uh, I mean, he's too old to be practicing. He didn't do much anymore. Too old to be riding a bike. But he's too old to be riding a bike, too, in traffic, for sure. I felt bad. But the whole practice just ended. Damn. It was sad. Sad. Damn. Where were you born, fool? Where was I born? East LA. Uh, White Memorial? White Memorial Hospital. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what they say, but then when I was trying to... Uh, What's your doctor's name? I don't know. I don't, I don't have, a, <laughs> I don't have, a, have Obamacare. You were born what year? Obamacare. Uh, 87. 87, what year? What day? What uh, month? December. December? Yeah. 12. Okay, I know no. you, you You were delivered by the same doctor that would deliver my son. Yeah. Because he was born at Whitemore Hospital too in December, 87. So like... Why so you want to you want to find true. out her, her her doctor's name, bro? I got it, dog. Oh, well, shit. I'm sure there's more than one doctor over there. <laughs> there's only one doctor. At night? <laughs> I don't know. It was her. <laughs> <laughs> but then I was uh, what was it called? I don't know. If, I don't know if I should be saying this, but like uh, you should. It's a podcast. <laughs> we, we want ratings. A couple of months ago, I was trying to do my uh, my unemployment, and then it kept saying I was like, uh, what's it called? Caucasian. No, that I was not a citizen, and then, oh. and I kept. And I, I keep hearing stories about that on TikTok, how people keep... I don't know. I, 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 I'm, so, I'm scared, man. <laughs> what, you testified that you weren't a citizen? No, no. It, it said that I wasn't a citizen. Oh. Yeah. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm like... There, I, I, I was on TikTok because there's like... A, what's it called? Like hashtags about that shit or like trending stuff about people just saying like, I found out I was like not an American citizen. Where'd you get that information that you weren't? On the unemployment website. Oh, really? Yeah, unless I hit something wrong, but like I hit. But I you don't have a birth certificate, right? You have a birth certificate to prove it, right? I have never seen it. You better talk to your mama. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> <laughs> we but got you talk. You have a social security number, right? Yeah, the card. Social security number, so you're at least documented. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you seen way. the card? You seen uh, social I've security card? Never seen the card. No. Oh. You can get a new one. You can oh, yeah. just call oh, yeah. the social security administration and get one. It might take a while. Okay. But I, would you I, if your ID made with crayons or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I hear I hear that people get out uh, what's it called a fake uh, what's called not not fake ones but like uh, what's it called the uh, another uh, so social security or stuff like that number huh matricula the matricula no like uh, what's it called if you have like, matricula, you matricula you're not a citizen no, no, bro no 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 not matricula uh, what's it called that people use other people's social securities. So you, they, they stole your social security? So somebody stole your social security? I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on, guys. I just uh, Don't get your advice from TikTok. That's number one. <laughs> if you want to really research it, call, call a lawyer, call an immigration know, attorney right? and ask. TikTok is only up. for if you want to learn how to dance, bro. <laughs> yeah. or, or or if, you if you want to learn how to throw a punch, go to my man. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, no, but, yeah. but maybe I, th I think there's a, a, a glitch on the, on the website. That was like a couple months ago. Me, I, 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 there's this guy on TikTok. There's this guy right on, on it's like a video of two high school kids, and one of them is talking too much. And then he puts his hands in his pocket, and the, and the other guy's like looking back. And it, right before that, the, the guy gets punched, that guy steps in and talks. You see, he goes, You already know he wants to punch you. <laughs> he goes, He's going to come at you. You never take your eye away from the guy that you're arguing with. As soon as he puts his hands in his pockets, yeah, he wants out. you to look down and <laughs> distract you. He's gonna punch you in the face. Well, you gotta stay back. You know, they're not. You get in front of him. You keep moving forward. Another thing: avoid this. <laughs> <laughs> See, the thing about TikTok is like you either you learn how to fight or cook, or either uh, you what's it called? Uh, find out about shitty sing. Or people get famous like Jenny sixty nine, dude. Or or you find out history that I already knew this. Like there's a there's a video right now showing a, a Japanese people dressed like lowriders and they're all choloed out and people are excited right now. But bro, didn't we have Kid Frost say that he goes there once a year? This is this is old people, okay? Yeah, everybody that was like on seven TikTok. Years ago, eight everybody years ago. on TikTok that's figuring it out that that um Chicano culture and the lowrider culture is big in South Asia and Asian countries. This has been going on for 20 years, okay? For 20 years. It's been going yep. on. Pull Kip, it up full screen, Philip. Baby Bash, Kid Frost, um, MC, MC Pancho. They, they say that's their summer. That's, MC that's, that's, that's their that's summer their money. Winter, that's their winter money. Really? They spend yes. a few days. Before like, that pandemic, playing, MC Pancho went over there because his mixtape went viral in the 90s. Yeah. But they love the look. 
Yes. They love the look, the music, the cars. They don't uh, necessarily have the gang. Also, stuff the, the, going this on, is big in, in uh, Thailand and Cambodia. But for them to dress up like that in, in Japan, it's like dressing up like, what are you? I'm goth. What are you? I'm cholo wisdom. Yeah. So they dress up like a cholo or the, and they, they, they love low riders. Um, the guy from Lowrider, I think he sold his magazine to Japan. Really? So they have their so they have a own, they have a Japan style Lowrider that's for why, their culture. That's why I because they're into that, bro. That's funny. That's and everybody that's watching it right now, going, "Oh, ah, I didn't know you're late. This has been going on for the last twenty years." Oh, there's people. Thirty years, yeah. There's there's some people. That I I'll go on TikTok. I learn everything from TikTok. Like. <laughs> Or like there'll be like these young people just intervention. trying to get offended at, at that fucking at that shit, you know? I'm like, what? I that's so dumb. You like know? Appropriation no, this is what this thing? is what they yeah. say. How come they only they, how come they only portray the negative? Somebody, yeah. so, somebody like some Latinx or the woke people oh will say, God, oh, they're dude. portraying all the negative Latinos in Japan, the stereotypes. Um, before before. The lifestyle became a stereotype. It was a, a, a lifestyle first. It's still a lifestyle. Later on, the police, <laughs> yeah. the police, and everybody else be, made, made a stereotype. Because when Cholo were dressing like that in the 1940s, there was a boycott, and there was like a, they wanted people not to buy so much clothing. It was at rationing. There was a rationing of clothing and cl yeah. and cotton, because they needed that for to make uh, marine outfits, you know, for Military. troops. Mm -hmm. Military, they're going to go out of World, World War II and die in Normandy. But black Americans, Native Americans, and um, Latino Americans all over America, I mean, we, they didn't hear that message. And they were dressing like lowriders, bro. They were dressing with big old zoot suits. The Pachuco. Pachuco look. If you go see Malcolm X, you know, the movie, he's dressed like a, with, a, with a fucking, um, that look, bro, like a cat. Yeah, black people yeah. were doing it first over in Yeah, Harlem. they were doing it first. Yeah, and then it came over. And what happened was, was there was a, an actor from Mexico. His name is um, Tintan. Can you and, Tintan? Uh, his name mm. is Tintan. Look up Tintan. Mula. And he's a brother of Ramon Valdez and El Loco Valdez, which is the brothers. Ramon Valdez is uh, from El Chapolin in Chespirito. <clears throat> and his brother is Tintan. And um, El Loco Valdez, they're three brothers, they're comedians, but the older brother is Tintan, and that fool would do shows in Chicago, and when he saw those black people dressed in those zoot suits, he made a movie, and he was dressed like a zoot suit, and he, he started the zoot suit look, and everybody copied it after that, bro. So, that look was a stereotype because the police and everybody made it a stereotype. It was never really a, like a, like a, it looked were, down on them. But to continue what you were saying about the fabric, so people yeah. hated, they resented, and this is why the sailors were mad too yeah. when they had the fight back in, in the forties, right? Yeah. yeah, because they resented these people during a shortage during rationing, making these huge, the huge pants, pants and, the huge and huge big old jacket. capes, yeah, and big old hats, extra fabric, and <laughs> so there was just this like resentment toward these people doing that. How could they? Isn't that crazy? But crazy. What, at that time, it was the people that dressed like that. Like you said, it was Latinos and black people, right? Yeah. Because I would see that style like in Tom and Jerry. Like mm -hmm. they would dress like, like that. Like flipping the coin. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. The guy downtown. Yeah. He's scary downtown. They're gonna scam you down there. And, and the, the chain. The chain. Yeah. Oh, and when that girl shows, um, when a little, when that, when they show that cart the virgin, the the cartoon version of Hollywood. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Like a girl shows comes off the bus and the cat shows up. You and know, the wolf. The wolf. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hitting, hitting him. So, like like you the mask. Be a yeah. Star. yeah, like the mask. Exactly. They look like that. That's a zoot. Kind of like that a zoot. That is a zoot. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Zoot yeah. What's up, fool? So that that was what what's hot right now on TikTok. A lot of people are like surprised. Just so when you when I when I see that, I know I'm an, I'm older than the people that are being surprised by that. That it's out there, man. You just gotta find it yourself. Yeah. Nobody wants I get these people don't want to do their own research. They want everybody else to do the research for them and then they'll post it up like they want to like, make a meme about it. Yeah, they want to post it up like this is something <laughs> that they learned all their whole life that they want they searched it for me. But also the thing about that is when they post like a like a video like that on like uh on TikTok, there's still a lot of people that didn't know about this shit so it blows up, you know? Somebody asked if Tintan had beef with Cantinflas, did he? Uh-oh. -uh. I have no idea. Cantinflas was like, I can't be bothered. I'm more famous. 
I don't know, man. Somebody says my. We gotta ask. We gotta ask. Uh, what's her name? The daughter of La India Maria. <laughs> oh, lo- the psychic. Myrna. Myrna, which her show is supposed to be popping up soon. I told her. Uh, it's always popping up soon. I told uh, somebody said Rizzo's hair is fake. Yeah, what the fuck? Hair piece. Well, no, that's real. It's fake. Look, watch. Look. The, the part sticking. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, this is fake. What the fuck? Well, look, it's fake. Look. It's very fluffy on the front. That's funny. He wearing a pompadour, right? <laughs> <laughs> he wants to look like that that politician, bro. The bad hair. See you, could co- you could comb it down and look like that guy Chemical, right? That guy Ka, the Edgar. Oh, it was Ka's? I, yeah, I, I, I think it might have to be shorter like that. Go straight across. <laughs> it's always old Mexicans that say that too. What's wrong with your hair, bro? <laughs> I know, man. Cut a hippie. Yeah, know, yeah, Mexican people are always mad at you too. They want you to comb your hair. I know, some girls too, If you too, combed man. your hair, it would just frizz out <laughs> like this. <laughs> oh, yeah, stupid. the Edgar. <laughs> But it's true. It's just like, like yeah, like like that one, like jarhead haircuts, you know, like that. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? I don't have another Corona. Oh, Give yeah. me the blue moon. Blue moon. Sorry. I wanna drink a blue moon uh, and start a fight at the bar. Yeah, but if you, if you think about it, um, it's just a style that picks up, you know. They find it a, like, um, oh, like, um, oh, like a That's subculture, something. you know, to be yeah. part of the Chicano lowrider scene. I. I, you know what I saw? This, they see it also like to them it's not like oh they're from Mexico. It's, it's still American. It's, to them it's because American. It was, yeah. it's it, was Ameri- started, it was started in America. It's an American look. It's yeah. an American look. It's Mexican American. You can go. It's a American Mexican American look. look. And when people say you should go to Mexico and dress like that, yeah, but nobody dressing like that in Mexico, man. No, Unless, yeah. uh, in Mexico, if you dress like this, you, like that, you probably have a, a shotgun in your hand. You were going to kill people. Oh, you probably <laughs> lived here before, you know. You, you live here and yeah, then you yeah, got deported. deported. Yeah. But it's funny. You, so today I was on. But here in, our, here in LA, I remember when I was a kid in high school, Asian look was hot, bro. Yeah, yeah. Those little dresses, well, that those Harajuku, Kung Fu shoes. Yeah, that's. They're not even called Kung Fu oh, shoes. Oh, yeah, those little uh, Chinese shoes. That, yeah. Those were different. But then the, uh, Gwen Stefani got called out for doing the Harajuku girl look, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, but see, those are people that are like getting offended by shit like that, man. Like about old stuff. <laughs> Like I, I was on, like I was uh, watching a video, and there's like a girl who was just saying, uh, she wasn't saying nothing, but just like a sad song, and there's like text, and she was like, "Oh, the whole t- this whole time I would hear my family say La Raza growing up, you know, Viva La Raza, but there's a racist, I would say, called meaning behind all that stuff." And I'm like, "What the fuck? Like, what are you talking? You know?" Yeah, well, you know that that group, National Council of La Raza, changed their name to something else that doesn't have. La, La Raza in it the Yes They call something else now Yeah it's called something else But I think they wanted to avoid That kind of Sort yeah. of militant sounding yeah. I guess <laughs> Maybe being perceived as that way Yeah, yeah. I think yes. they were getting Some backlash for a while I don't Yeah know. they were getting backlash From Lulak <laughs> The rival but there's just nobody else is worried about this. I think it's other Latinos who are complaining. I know, like nobody's even like <laughs> nobody's thinking nobody's, about this outside of the Latino culture. Here. Nobody's thinking that deep about that no. shit. But there's like people are like, oh, like they just want to make something out of something, you know? I know that there was a podcast that were, they, were, they were talking about similar stuff that we're talking, and a listener he sent us their podcast. Man, you should listen to this podcast, man. They're from East LA, and I, I he got mad because I emailed him back. You should send our podcast to them. <laughs> uh-huh. We have over 350 po- We have 350 That's episodes. Funny. You chump. You chump. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't guess, like, when, when I see another Latino podcast, hooray. Yeah, hell yeah. We need more, bro. Yeah, we need a okay. variety of them. But um, I'm not going li- to I'm not going to listen to it. <laughs> if the clips make it a TikTok, I might listen to a 30 seconds of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's somebody from Puerto Rico watching right now. Oh, What's oh, up, yeah. Puerto Rico? The power's back on. Woo. There's somebody from, I think, Saudi Arabia. Where was that guy from? Saudi Arabia. Oh, <laughs> <earlier>. <laughs> I missed it. Are there any comedy shows in Puerto Rico, man? Like, they are, bro. They're all in right? Spanish. They, yeah. Right now, I wish I was there, bro. There's English Stand up over there. Wish I was there right now, bro. Eating bananas Ooh, and black beans, vegan lechon, and, and uh, by Iraq. the beach with my hand, my 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 feet in the sand. Asu Al Kazrahi, love from Iraq. He's watching from Iraq. Right What's now. up, Iraq? Orale, it's morning homie. over there right now. Azu. It's probably two days later. Just over there right now. Crazy. Orale, homes. And then also somebody from McAllen said thanks for the great show. Ooh, McAllen, Peru. Texas. Chat's what up? going too fast. A lot of people in the chat today. Peru. 
Peru. Shout out to Las Hormigas. Shout out to what's it called? Uh, what's that? Uh, soda? The uh, Inca Phoenix. Cola. Inca oh, Cola. By the way, we're going to. We're. I wanted to announce because we, we didn't talk that much last week, but we're going to try and bring back cool things again. We're going to try to do some call in shows, probably once a month call in shows. First one might be a little glitchy. We'll see how that goes. Um, we're going to try and do like some, if we have like a person who can't make it to the studio, but who wants to do Zoom from home, we might have them like picture in picture or something like that. And we're in the studio interviewing them. So Yeah, do video shots. Yeah. Stuff and like call that. in videos, no? No, I, I don't know about video call in. Maybe. We might. How do you how about call let's in. think about maybe fans doing Live a call Zoom ins? call in if that's possible at all. Think about it. <laughs> Turn the camera on James right now. <laughs> Don't we have one over there? Anyway, yeah, we're going to do some fun stuff. And if you guys have any other ideas, don't send them to me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. No, it's okay. You can send them, send them to fans at Felipe's. Also, man, I'm, I, I'm thinking of starting my own What's Up Fool podcast only fans page. <laughs> yeah. Where for $35 a month, you get to hear. An extra 20 minutes of the podcast where we talk bullshit about the guests and talk about how boring he was, <laughs> how sucked, <laughs> how he sucked, and um, what were we really thinking? Uh, behind the scenes at a comedy And we'll show. answer real questions about uh, the boring guests we had. That's 20 bucks. And for 35 bucks, uh, we get to, you, you, you get to, um, you get to, um, get the What's Up Full podcast t shirt, beanie, and hoodie. Sent to you. Thirty-five. You could probably. You the hoodie much, itself never is mind. like fifty, forty-five or fifty. I don't know how much. For a hundred dollars a month. Oh, shit. A hundred dollars <laughs> a month. We have to have a meeting about this first. For a, for a one thousand dollars, no, for two hundred and fifty bucks a month, you get to sh fly yourself in once a month to sit here and be in the studio. And chill with us, and man, well, we and we'll listen to the podcast, and we're gonna pick up maybe like five guests a month. What? Five guests, but if one one guest <laughs> for two hundred and fifty like bucks, you get to be a, <laughs> you get to watch the show behind that gate over there, man. Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> like at least like, wait, what? When did we talk Imagine about? Imagine how many, I'm just up. kidding, man. Imagine being able to control all this shit. Maybe it actually happens. And you gotta buy me dinner too, man. You gotta show up with a brown chicken espresso. <laughs> and if you want to hit a bowl, make sure you show up with a receipt of the bowl you just bought, and you, didn't, you haven't hit it yet. We want to first hit. That's funny, dude. But well, somebody was asking me that, bro. When we're we're talking, you should have an OnlyFans page where you get to invite guests over. Fist bumps are five bucks. <laughs> I think I think like a good way to do it would be like like maybe like like ten bucks a month and like people you can do like behind the scenes at comedy shows. And like yes, man, like for like and those thirty five bucks a month are like to watch me go live behind the scenes at comedy shows. Like when we're I'll I'll leave the camera on, you know, in the, in the green room, and you can watch people come in and out. Because you can see the waitress put down food. It's one of those things where people. There's so there's a lot of people that probably would never go to a comedy show because they live yeah. like in a weird part of like yeah. Nevada. Yes, like the like, Iraq guy. I'm pretty sure he wants to watch the show. Some people are asking for your feet to see your feet. And, the, and the feet too, <laughs> man. Oh, oh so you man, I am up for down. Only fans, you get cuckoo. I will show you my horrible feet when I first had them, <laughs> where they look when, before they look like they look like somebody shot them with a pellet gun. <laughs> And then try to put nail, fake nail polish over it, man. Yeah, the funniest For a, my, one was when my, you said it looked like a broken my sucker. <laughs> my toenail looked like a broken lollipop, bro. <laughs> my toenail looked like there was a fly that went inside and just stood inside, bro. Like, like, um, like the, like, like the, the little in, ice? like the little insect, bro, from Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, the fucking the, the bug, the the mosquito. Fossilized. I remember putting brand new socks on and ripping my socks, bro. <laughs> but now, man, my toes, bro, like damn, bro, it's like yeah, you could you could eat over them, bro. <laughs> but be, you, you'll be surprised, like, that like James, bro. He has James has those toes, bro, like. He he grew up in in uh, Burning Man, bro. <laughs> Somebody said like how he much carried a narrow. He carried the cross for Jesus. 
Oh my God, carry the cross for Jesus. Lisa's toe right now, man. She had a, a, a two by four Don't fall on her. about my toe. Two by four did not fall on me. <laughs> my husband <laughs> carried, my husband and I moved a chair the day before Christmas, oh, Christmas man. Eve. And the cha- he put the chair down too fast, and it jammed oh, sorry, into man. my toenail and ripped my too. toenail off. <laughs> Christmas Eve. My toenail hurt too when it happened. And I had to cook. This was 9 in the morning or 8 in the morning. What year? Last year. Oh, last year. It's still growing back. It's almost <gasps> fully grown. Bro, the it chip but it's all red. It's wonky right now. You should take some biotin or what something. What was all red? Stop look, telling look. people to take biotin. I take my vitamins. Oh, Don't worry about me. Look, biotin will help your nails <laughs> like you grow. You just now found out <laughs> about biotin. sponsored by biotin, <laughs> people. Biotin, baby. That's why my hair looks like a toupee, bro. <laughs> biotin doesn't work when you're 50. <laughs> Let me warn you about that. It's, it, you get half the effect. And that's a Martin Biot- Biotin Rizzo. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's but no, but my nails finally growing back. But it's all curvy and weird. And I'm so... Oh. Can't wait to cut it, get it back to normal. Yeah, man. It's horrible. It was horrible. My when I went to go take out my socks today for my podiatrist, she saw him, bro, and she kissed him. <laughs> <laughs> she, it was like she was like kissing a trophy, bro. Like she, she likes her work. She goes, "Oh my god!" In her Israeli accent, "Oh my god!" It's so funny though. Felipe told me was trying oh, to describe her to right? me. Oh yeah, <laughs> she's not listening. She doesn't know what a All podcast right. is. I think I was telling me what she looked like. And he said, she looks, I said, what does she look like? He said, she looks like she gets a lot of toenails (laughs) flung in her hair. (laughs) 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 I died. That was so funny, man. Uh, And then when I met her, of course, I was just laughing because she has this wild hair that toenails could get caught. She had that blonde (laughs) hair, man, like from the 80s, bro. It's teased. It's It's teased, yeah. Yeah, she had it's like Easter a big eggs wall in there, bro. Of hair, like we laid. <laughs> yeah, man, and like and and if you look when you when you go to the office, she has a lot of those. Um, you know when you sit when you're working on a show, that chair you sit on with a little flap. Oh yeah. yeah. So it's a lot of those like Monk, oh, like Mad like Men, the director shows, the director chairs. Oh yeah. So she has the strat the canvas part. So Monk was there, bro, with her bad feet. The, the actor. Yeah, Ooh. Monk. No, Monk was it was uh, the banner. John Ham. John, but no, there's banners up there too. Of Monk. Yeah, well, I don't know if it was Monk, but somebody in Monk. No, John Ham from Mad Men. Yeah, he had his those squeaky there. ass shoes. <laughs> it's all these pinching shoes. So when she was doing my, when she was she was cutting my toenails. She says, "Good, good, good." I was there with no insurance, bro. The last five days, the last five times I've been there, getting free toenails cuts. So. um we were talking and I told her, bro, have you seen that show? Uh, my Big Ugly Feet? What's it called? My, my feet are My feet are killing, killing me. She said, I've, no. Man, she she said, no, me. my feet are killing me because she watches that show, bro. <laughs> of course she does. You have to watch a show. Uh, you know so I was I mean? asking her questions. Have you ever dealt with that kind of bullshit, you know, that kind of bad feet? Dr. Lavian, you know, have you ever, like, somebody came in here and their foot looked like a boomerang? He goes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what do you do? She goes, you really got to break that bone? She goes, yeah, bro. She said she goes in there, bro, while they're asleep, and she breaks the toe with her hammer, I guess, and straightens it out and files it out and puts a screw there and tapes it back up, bro. I seen, dude, that show. So I think I told her about that show uh, when we were in Texas like two years ago. And, they're, they're, oh, my gosh, dude, it's just... Like I like watching those kind of shows, but like there's like a limit, you know. I, I can just like I can't watch pimple popping. I can't. Uh, I just I can't watch show. it. I'm. I can watch I like surgery. I can watch. Shows. I can watch organs being operated oh, on. That I doesn't blood it. doesn't bother me. In fact, the the feet one is weird because there's no blood. They must just suck out all the blood for the shot or something. But there's no blood. I want to watch a show where they wa- they only pop blackheads inside someone's ear. I cannot watch that Ooh. shit. My brother's wife loves popping pimples and i just i never heard of anybody doing that before until i met her and now there's a whole world of it and then i can't take it when rizzo was on stage stephanie and gabby lamb and i we saw a woman who had a 55 year old black hit on her eyeball on the side of her eyeball and it and it made this noise when, it, when she like it popped yeah no it was already like you know when you have a black head and you see a little one yeah. and the, but the hers was big and it was always there she thought it was a mole but then she took it out that lady was, she said, look at your, your, your black head. And she tapped it on the ground, bro. Oh. And it was full of pus inside, bro. She had to suck it all out. <clears throat> and it was so, and then she had to, man, it was 
fucking nasty. That lady look also like like she's been um dodging toenails her whole life. Yeah. Damn, dodging what? Dude. Toenails. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said watch the toe doctor. Gosh damn, dude. What's the that has to be the worst one, right? Be, there can't be worse than like toes or like pimples, right? Like like what else can there be? That's it, bro. There's a Most... lot, but toes and, and pimples are pretty gross already. God. Nah. Rotten, right? You're just a rotten person when you have all that shit in you, huh? Oh, you know, no, 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 uh, another thing that I've seen on YouTube <laughs> is people that don't wash their teeth and they, they scrape off the... The carter The carter themselves? The I've done that. The, tar the plaque, but there's some people that have like their teeth are so fucked up where like... I saw this lady. I've never washed her, te uh, her teeth. Brushed. Brush, bro. Brushed. Brush, bro. Well, you're washing your teeth, but you're not brushing, dog. She never brushed her teeth. <laughs> like, he says it again. <laughs> Martin so has a job spitting on buff popcorn at movie theaters. <laughs> she had maggots inside her, her fucking... Uh, uh, no, she did Her gums, bro. That's I think that's worse. I don't think so. She flies? No, it's just that like, it's rotting, you know? She She's never brushed or flossed. So, it's like, I don't know how, but I can find the video. I'll show you. It's real, dude. It's it's disgusting, man. Ah, yeah. her kisses taste like septic tanks. <laughs> I would said wash their teeth. Jeez, you've been washing too much, bro. You should start brushing. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> you guys have your Christmas tree up already? Yeah, with your house? Filipinos. They put them up. Do you take it down on September. January or what? Uh, tell them where you're going, bro. Tell months, them where you're and Stephanie the going. All months, they leave it up. Filipinos. <laughs> bro, <laughs> tell them where you guys going for Christmas, bro. Solbang. Solbang? Oh, really? Solbang? Solbang. He says so bang. So bang. So boring is what it's called. Yes, I, I've never Not been there. It's, you know what? It was fun when we went that one night. And it was I cool. Loved it, it was snowy and nobody was around. Phil, have you been there? Have you been there? Yeah, I've been there. And we just walked around at night. We didn't go anywhere to any of the shops or anything. We just went around at night. And Felipe is trying to open people's doors. <laughs> so the doors were open. <laughs> the business, eh? he's like, oh, my God, this place is open. Like, don't open their door. But, like, nobody locked their doors of the shops. It was so strange. Almost walked out with a little train, bro. <laughs> there, were, there were little glass shops. But every, snows out there. There were so yeah. many Christmas oh, trees. That's cool. Well, and it was, every, like, snowy every, and rainy, right? Yeah, it was, it was nice. Yeah. It was 11 o'clock at night, but it was out. Nobody, but it was, nobody was out, yeah. That, but everything was boring. It's boring up there. Is it? Yeah. It's oh, nice yeah. if you want to just get away and do nothing. Just That's go chill. But then, nothing. And <laughs> you're right. You're right. Because in the morning also, all the, 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 there's maybe two coffee shops and they're awful. Breakfast shops, awful. You got to just be prepared to see a lot of old people who never do anything. Who are going to go eat at diners in the morning. Which is fine. Yeah. And you can, you know, it's close to other cities. Oh, cool. you're gonna like, get out Santa of Maria or something like that? Yeah. No, it's so vain. I've never eaten at Blackbird Diner, though. I think I only ate there, even there once. I think you ate there with Gabriel, didn't you? You guys used to eat at the, that place. Yeah, with um, Steve. We're just talking about Steve Danner, the party planner. What up? See you in Napa. Yeah, baby. We're talking about when he... Uh, his first time with me was the first time in San Francisco. He was 21 or 22. Yeah, it was in a... We went to... You were 21 or 22 when you went up there? 22, like 2010. Yeah. I was in Manta that I was kidnapping. Yeah, that's yeah. me. Yeah, when I was hanging out like with like... Uh, what was Sorry. it called? Older men. Older men, yeah. Like, oh, come come, he wants to take you to the hotel. Like, no. It's like, <laughs> I have my own room. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was... Yeah, it was my first time going to San Francisco. Or pretty much like going out of town to do shows. First time seeing men kiss. Yeah, yeah, so me and Steve Danner went to go have uh, dinner at this uh, late at night at this one place called Grub Steak. It's like a popular burger spot, and it's in San Francisco. I've never, it was like a culture shock oh, for me. I've never seen. We went there with the big shakes and stuff. That's right? a place, a diner yeah. place. Yeah. It was like a diner. Yeah, it was good. And, and they had fucking, it's like big old Angus burgers, bomb as fuck, like on brioche buns. Yeah, that was Steve Danner who had patty melt. It was like two in the morning. Two Everybody in the morning. was there. It was packed. packed. People were waiting to get in that place. But but me and I Steve the microphone. went there. I think like a night before right. by ourselves, and I've never. Every table was like there's just guys kissing each other, and I, I've never <laughs> seen that before. And I was like telling, "Yo, fucking Steve, you see that?" And, and then, that guy spanked you. And then Steve's like, and then Steve's just eating his burger. Yeah, whatever, man. Because like, <laughs> he's used to it, you know. Yeah, whatever. He's from Napa. Yeah, it's fucking San Francisco, he was just man. hungry. <laughs> yeah, man. San Francisco, man. <laughs> Steve Danner that? was a full D, bro. Like, he knew all the restaurants. Yeah, oh, you get yeah. He goes, I'm going to order. He ordered up. That night, he ordered a patty melt, um, tenders, and pancakes. Nobody cares what he ordered. 
<laughs> Ten years okay, ago. Okay, let me tell you, man. That guy is not. He's shorter <laughs> than Martin, by the way. Yeah, he's dude. a little. He's almost a little person, basically. And he's then when him and his friend came down to L.A. when you were on Last Comic Standing, and they had their van, right? Yeah, the yeah. Van that they camped in. Yeah. And we're just showing them around L.A. County, and it was it was so fun, man. I can't believe it's they been were, eleven they years. They were culture dude. shocked at the um, Mexican food. Mexican food, how good it was. Uh, they siete never mares. Had Mes- Mexican food? They never had Siete Mares. They never had like LA. Like, they never had fish tacos, like boom, right Crazy. there. You think that they're close to other places up there that are. Well, the guy with other patty melts everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> he does look a little sheltered. But yeah, man, that was fun. Steve Danner, dude. But we're going. People are asking for an update on Flacco. You know, have you talked to him? Oh, yeah, Flacco, well, he had a heart attack this <gasps> weekend. He did? So, no, no, no. So, what happened? Uh, Can we talk about this? I'm more scared. Yeah. Oh, okay. Everybody knows. Uh, okay. It's, on, it's online. It's, it? it's online. I, I post, uh, what's it called? So, what happened? Uh, his heart stopped on uh, Sunday. Oh, my gosh. He uh, went unconscious. They had to hook him up to breathing tubes, and he uh, they put him in an induced coma. Oh, man. And then he woke up. Today, so he's he's still he's out of the danger zone, but he's the bionic he's, man. He's bro. a little better, so it's good, you know. So I when I called him, cause I cause I called him yesterday just to see how he's doing. And you then didn't know about this. Yet? I didn't know, and then his mom picked up and she told wow. me about it. And I was like, "Is there like, what can they do?" And she's like, "At, at this point, just pray and just yeah, see what." Just but thank God he's out, man. So, man, I was getting sad, dude. I was just like thinking, like, oh man, all the good times we had, you know. I know his life has kind of been on pause for the last few years. He's yeah. trying to get healthy. A year before the pandemic. But yeah. at least, but uh, what, well, the good thing that happened was uh, two years ago he had the surgery where uh, his he closed the, they closed a the valve that was open right and so just bleeding out into his body. There's something going on when he got the pacemaker, but now is uh, he hasn't had a migraine since like 2019, right. which was like that, that was, was killing that, him. He yeah. wanted to get rid of that so yeah. bad, which I'm glad it happened. So. At this point, it's just him healing and being able to walk on his own. Mm-hmm. And then after that, uh, he'll be back full throttle, man. So I hope so. Because because I was getting sad. I was I, like, I'm not gonna lie, man. I was fucking tearing up in the car. Just fuck, man. I was like, all the good times we had together, man. You know, like adventures. We're just like living at home <laughs> again and just driving him to the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> And but just like we'll have Flacco call in next week, maybe just give us a quick hopefully if he can. He has energy, when, yeah. As soon as he yeah. can, yeah, yeah. But that's too bad. That's too bad. Good times with that guy, man. He's been hanging in there though, huh? The last three years. Oh, dude, he's been putting in work. I, uh, I I visit him a couple of times, you know, to teach his uh, nephew how to skate. Mm. But Is he, he's up in um like Simi Valley area, around the area. Yeah. So man, so what's it called? We're praying for you, Flacco, and uh, yeah, Hope man. You're watching. I don't. I think he's. he's, he's I, think, I don't anything. think he's right now. He's like. He's just trying. trying but yeah, to be happy man. He's alive. He's strong, man. He's, he's pulled through, man. So many times. So it's fucking. It's a good sign, you know. So. Because technically, with people with Marfans, don't really live past their thirtieth birthday usually. Yeah. But he had a pacemaker early, yeah. so that extended his life. Extend, yeah. But, but yeah. also, uh, Abe Lincoln had one, but he got shot. How old is he now? He had a pacemaker. <laughs> no, no. Abe Lincoln had. Oh, he Mar- had Marfans. Marfans yeah. yeah. So yeah. So I'm glad he's back, baby. How old is Flacco? Uh, he's like 41. 30. Oh, he is 41 now? Wow. So he was born in 79, so he must 41, 42? 42. Damn. So, so that's pretty old for a guy like that. Yeah, yeah so guys, save up money so we can, uh, we're going to send him to uh, Hong Kong when he gets better. Man, in, you know, everybody <laughs> I've known who's been in an induced coma doesn't make it back. Really? Yeah. They're usually older or, you know, something really wrong with them. But, you know, they're waiting for his vitals to go back up to be able to, like, yeah. snap him out of the induced coma. But, That's man, I was just out. every time I hear induced coma, I just I feel like they're not going to come out of it. because It's happened so many times. Sad. What's up, food podcast, man? This week, this week, October 15, get your tickets. We have, there's tickets available for the. Detroit, Michigan show at the Garden Theater. Get your tickets at FelipeSWorld.com. Tickets are on sale now, man. Man, this show right here, man, we got a little bit of tickets left. Midland, Texas. Wagner Noel Performing Arts Center. I wish I could give you guys tickets away, but I already gave them away to this chick named Esther plus one <laughs> because her, her brother used to book me at the Wawa, Wawa Comedy Club. And I remember one time... Um, she was supposed to go to the show, and she got all ready, and um, they didn't pick her up, bro. Really? Oh, wow. So she was ready, dog. Like, she cleaned the whole house. 
set, has had a babysitter for her mom, and she had no kids. And um, her date canceled, and um, I think John Roman ended up buying her a birth a cake because it was her birthday and she didn't show up. So Esther, what up, Mija? I see you plus one at the show. Say hi to your brother, Big Mike. Woo! Also, man, I'm coming to um, Modesto, California, Gallo <clears throat> Center for the Arts, October 22nd. Um, tickets are almost sold out for that. There's like 118 tickets left, maybe. And um, everybody's going, bro. It's going to be a fun fest. The guy from Barrio Girls is going, Big Alfonso from the Chorizo podcast. Hell yeah. And um, so many people, bro. Man, it's going to be good. And then after that, we drive the next day. After that, after that show, we're going to drive to Monterey, California. Yeah. October 23rd, Golden State Theater. Man, that show is almost sold out, man. Get your tickets fast at FelipeWorld.com for the real price for these tickets. Then right after Monterey, man, we're going to go to Napa. Go visit Stevie. And we're going to go see Steve Danner, the party planner. Let's go get some clam chowder bowls in Monterey, bro. So after that show, bro, it doesn't matter what time we leave after Napa because it's a six-hour drive. Dude, let's... Do I say you might as well just take the one other way home, bro, and enjoy it, eh? Yeah, if I can enjoy the... That's going to be beach. seven hours, Then it's going to be like ten hours. Just take the regular way home. There you go. <laughs> You've seen the coast. You and not, Lisa and, and I, we're going to go to Morro Bay in November. Lisa and I did that trip one time, and let me tell you, man, it, it was a long one. Eh? It's like, nine hours, actually. If you it started yeah. off at that, at that song, um, at that movie, um, The Good Look Kid. No, the Heartbreak Kid. The Heartbreak Kid. Which is we, the funniest we, movie. Heartbreak Kid, man. In the whole world. You guys seen it? Anybody with your hand? Is that Ben Stiller? Over and over. Ben, ben Stiller. Stiller. Fairly Brothers, right? Yeah, Fairly Brothers. Fairly Brothers. Fucking hilarious. Carlos Messias in it. Carlos Messias actually. Screw is, off. Screw <laughs> off. He's a screw off in that He's movie. He's actually funny in it, but a, a weird choice for how, how he did that character. It's weird. November 6th. I'm going to be at the San Diego Humphreys by the Bay people. Oh, brum, brum, brum. Can you put those dates back? Orale, homie. Orale, oh, you finished. Okay. Thanks, no. Jason. <laughs> what? I feel weird. Why do you want to call him? Friday the 13th, name? he was Jason, bro. <laughs> also, man, sh- we, we, when we were on a plane, when I, was, when I was on my plane, on the way to um, on McAllen, the w- Texas, yeah. I, I, got, I was on first class, bro. And I was flying with this guy, right? Show his face, Philip. PJ. The wheel of the steel, Philip. He looked like his name was, what was his name? Munf, Munskin? <laughs> Munchkin? <laughs> Donald Huffing, Huffings? Huffines. Huffines. Donald Huffines. Huffings, yeah. Donnie Huffines. Why well, don't know this Luke Skywalker looking for? <laughs> he was like sitting next to me, bro. And I was high fiving everybody on the way to the plane, and they were just looking at me, high fiving everybody. Can you see him right there? I'll enlarge it. And, um, I fell asleep, bro. I was listening to my other watch. He's a twin? Is I don't he, know. Does his twin believe the same things he does? I don't know. I was watching Squid Game, man. This guy, I fell asleep. <laughs> and um, <laughs> He was your seating partner? He was seating partner, man. I fell asleep. And then I didn't see this fool again because I wanted to go do my show. And then when we were leaving from McAllen. We saw him again. We saw him again. He goes, hey, my, my, my co-partner in the plane. And I said, hey, what's up, man? So we're talking, he's telling us what we do for a living, and we're explaining comedy to him and ticket sales and all this. Then he asked me in front of everybody, what do you think I do for a living? And we looked at him, little frame, little boots. I said, I don't know, you're an ice skater? <laughs> yeah, he, he was dressed like an ice skater. Or like, everybody yeah. died, bro. He had, a, he had a smaller waist than me, bro. He goes, no, man, I'm running for governor, I'm running for governor of Texas. I'm taking down Abbott. Then in my head, but it's not hard to take him down, bro. He's not a fucking wheelchair, dog. Just fucking show him some stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Push him down the stairs, bro. Uh, Push the fool in a corner. Yeah, so um, he's running for um, governor of Texas. I don't know who he was. Somebody said they own car dealerships, he and his brother. Yeah, and Down he's there. a big, um, he, he, does commu- he does real estate, he does community parks. He builds community residence. He, so we just started talking to him, bro, for a long time. You know, cracking jokes with him. He didn't get none of them. Yeah, he flew over his head. 
And then oh, like, dude. Then he asked me, "Are you?" Because I was, see, I was I think he's trying to be friendly with, overly friendly with you. Yeah. So he saw people coming yeah, up to you and plus, you didn't realize you're kind of. I famous. just bought a. I just bought a new, a new, um, a new uh, American, a, a new face mask. Because the other one, bro, I spilled coffee on that shit, <laughs> and and I, I didn't know people were coming in. It had a big old brown stain on it, bro. <laughs> so it looked like I sneezed in my mask. So I bought the American flag one. So he was just staring at me. You're American citizen. And then in front of everybody, nah, man, I snuck in fair and square. That he didn't think that was funny. It was a little cold sore. And then, and then he told us he was like, <laughs> "Oh yeah, so he wasn't wearing a mask the whole time in the airport until he had to board the plane." He was like, "Do you guys believe in the mask?" I'm like, uh, "What the fuck?" Who <laughs> yeah. said that? Him. He asked you. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to get political with every little thing. I'm like, Come on. And then now, he goes, "I don't wear the mask." I said, "But you were wearing a mask in a we're in a plane, man. They'll put you in a little baggage. <laughs> <laughs> They'll take you down, bro." And I told him in the face, I said, listen, we talked to a police officer. He said, listen, anybody who doesn't wear the mask in the airport, we're going to enforce it. But when you get to that plane, you try to be that guy. I'm not going to wear a mask. I have a doctor's appointment. I have a, a sign by, by mm. God, Jesus Christ, let me <laughs> in. You have to get that done ahead of time. In front of him, I told him, I said, you're gonna, they're going to they're gonna tell you politely to leave the plane. Then you don't. You, then you want to be the extra guy, you know, that wants to be, these are my rights. They're going to arrest, they're going to, Rest you down and rest you. Mm. Then you on the, when the rest you down, you want to spill out more rights. They're gonna ban you from the flight forever from American Airlines. So there's three ways, bro. Yeah, yeah. He's he's really. So I told him in his face all this stuff. He knew, bro. He don't want to get wrestled down, bro. He don't want this to go out. <laughs> Yeah, he's really uh, he's uh, he's in, let's just say he's in support of that Texas ban on abortion. So I was telling him about um, I said we should no, would you should I was telling him you know you should be running on rebuild the wall not build it because it's already built. He should rebuild it like chop in a little holes everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> at, at at fucking barbed wire. And I told him, man, I said I was, I, I told him, man, I kill, bro. I, I was telling the old man before we, we knew the politicians. I kill, you know, I, I control the audience. You gotta control the audience. When you get to the water, wherever you're doing a little speech, man, you gotta be of the people, man. You gotta walk around, get to know the security guards, all the employees before your speech. They have a little meeting. You show up to that meeting and you find out who the biggest kiss ass is. And who, who, who's been working here the longest, who's the big the big rat, the big snitcher. And then during your speech, you say like a good person I know, Juan Castro right here, who's been working here 20 years. Rising to the top, and then you go like this. Then everybody gives you a prize break. <laughs> You're giving them pointers. Then you can dude. sell apples, bro. <laughs> it's not. Di- it's not that different from being a comedian. Yeah, but those. They were. Then uh, um, Martin Rizzo kept asking me, "Who are those two chicks? Wisdom, though the two young ones." Because <laughs> I, I was like, "Who are they? Like, are they his daughters? Are they his like campaign aides or something?" Maybe I was, like, I was just so confused. Like these girls were like so supportive of what he was saying. Here's the thing, though. He's got 1,200 followers on Instagram. That's what I was saying. So I don't think he's gonna. Be then, then, then I got those chicks excited. I said, "Man, we, we could get him on Joe Rogan." <laughs> could you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They jump, bro. What? And they also weren't wearing masks. Think- those two girls. One of those girls is a, is a day, day-to-day assistant where she knows exactly where the speech is. The other one is the one that has to know who to shake her hand to and, at, when they get there. Like She's the lead. More like a PR. Yeah, story. PR. She's walking in front of him, shaking hands for him. So that's um, that's Felipe Esparza, man. Give him a fist bump. He likes fist bumps. <laughs> and that, and that, he goes, that's, 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 um, that's, that's James. He wants a fucking handshake. <laughs> and, he wants uh, a bow. and the fucking um, he wants the he's a Freemason, so you gotta do the Freemason <laughs> shake and you gotta bow. You gotta put your hand on his uh, over your head to let him know that you're an overseer. But yeah, was, What's up, Wolf of Wall Street? Where are you going, Martin? Some questions. Hold on, Armando Aguilar said, "Come to Park City, Utah." And somebody else said too, but he's you're coming to Salt Lake in November, right? Park City, Utah, the forty-five minute drive. What am I going to the no, fucking? It's like 30, 40 minutes. Yeah. yeah, it's not that long. You can drive there. Get you get in your four by four, and uh, drive over there. Park City, Utah, man. That's where they that's where they filmed um, Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, of the, because yeah, Aspen the is too expensive yeah. to film. Uh, Mario Cruz wants you to come to Atlanta, and I'm he going is to the punchline to Atlanta. In was it February? February, I baby. Think it was February. Oh, shit. So Thursday, stay fr- tuned on the details. Thursday through Sunday. Dog. I think oh, it's yeah. Friday through Sunday. I think it's gonna be Friday through Sunday. We're gonna work something out. So it's happening. Stay tuned. 
Hell yeah, I'm coming man. to Tacoma, Washington. And also, if you're in the Chicago area, we just can't get in Chicago yet because there's still so many people re playing their rescheduled dates from 2020. But we're looking at maybe fall of 2021, 2022. For Joliet? For, no, for Chicago. Oh. But we have a Joliet, Illinois date coming up, which is like an hour outside of Chicago. So if you're willing to drive and you really want to see them, that's going to be in February. And that's going on sale soon, like in a couple <coughs> weeks. So stay tuned for that, too. What's up, Foo Podcast? Thank you very much to the, the people that came up to me at the McAllen show and said that they went to go see Gabriel's show. And they went to go see George Lopez's show. And then they went to go see my show, too. That's what I'm talking about, man. It's like... All in one month. Yeah, it's like... it's like For them, it's like not one Latino is enough. They're like, oh, fuck, I can see my favorite comics, you know? But see, that's the way it should be. Yeah. That's when you know that things have moved forward. Because like before, the way, the way it would be, the media would push one comic one, at a time. One Latino yeah. at, a at a time. It's yeah. like you said, when you were on Last Comic Standing and Cristela showed up, it's like, okay, that's my only competition because she's the only other Latino here. And that is how they look at you is one yeah. Latino. We got, her we out, got man. one Latino. We got check that box. And they voted her out, man. She did that photo, man. She's like Dora. No comment. But now, but a good thing is now with like the internet and podcasting people, it, now it's like people get to choose who they like. They don't have to wait for the media to be like, I guess gotta, I gotta like this comic that. And when people tell me like, man, That's Felipe, mm -hmm. you're funnier than George Lopez. Yeah, but there were like 2,500 more people at his show than mine. So you better <laughs> talk to those 2,500 people who didn't show up. <laughs> I, I mean, there's this comic uh, I saw a long time ago at an open mic. It was like, Man, fuck the media. Why are they trying to push fucking Leah Dunham on us? Like, what the? Because I, because I was like, guy. it's true. Because I was like, dad, they were trying to push her for a long Lena time. Leah Dunham was forced down my throat somehow. I never watched girls. She's a country singer. No, no, she was. She like, created girls. That chubby show on girl. HBO, chubby girl. The one who tried to kiss Brad Pitt. The one who's in um, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. She's on the ranch. Oh, uh, she's trying to kiss him with that biscuit she gravy kissed breath. <laughs> She ki she kisses him on the red carpet and he was not expecting that and he's all mm, and she came right up to him and kissed him and if if that had happened where like, a guy did yeah, that to him, like oh, you know how Adrian Brody did that to Halle Berry yeah on, a chubby ass Oscars? dude walks up to you bro he's walks up to a hot chick huh a, like a chubby ass dude walks up to a hot chick tries to make out with it doesn't her. matter any guy doing that you, you can't do that but still. <laughs> She was doing it to Brad Pitt, and I just was like, "Man, this is a double yeah. standard." Right She's there. banned. She lives in the world of double standard. I just don't not. I do not like her. I don't like what she creates. I don't like watching interviews with her. Like they're just she trying to like. Me. They're just trying to she make thinks she's us the voice of this generation. Yeah. Like fuck you. They're trying to make us like her like so yeah, much. I'm like, oh, somebody I don't know the fuck, dude. Like that's not me, dude. What, what about in Palm Springs, bro? Palm Springs. Oh, that, that was a podcast. I mean, uh, for me and Stephanie's uh, thing. Oh, okay. That when was, I watched, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I saw like the beginning oh, yeah. of that series. And Peter Scolari plays her dad, the guy from Bosom Buddies. Yeah. Tom Hanks's roommate. He plays her dad. And the whole, the beginning of the series is them meeting with her at lunch or dinner or something to tell her that they're not going to support her anymore because she's like 24 or something like that. Mm. And her whole world comes crashing down. That alone, that just made me not want to watch it because my parents, my mother was not supporting me at 24 and she wasn't supporting me at 17. So, so. I was supporting my kids. <laughs> no, yeah. Which Show me the receipt now. Like they want us to feel bad for their, oh my God, it's me insane. But like fucking people have been supporting themselves since yeah, my kid. Fuck, yeah, yeah. I now, told my kid, if you get arrested, don't call me, man, because they might check my ID and I'm going to arrest my ass too. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst. You go visit somebody in prison and they check your ID, they arrest your ass. <laughs> That's funny. One time I was, uh, <laughs> I went, uh, I was gonna, uh, Stephanie was gonna pay like a bill for like Curacao. And I was like, oh and she God. was like, can you call for me? And you and, have a bill at Curacao? Oh, like, uh, stuff that you buy, you know? You guys are immigrants? No, you I'm like, credit, <laughs> they they have, have a, a vacuum cleaner and oh, dining room set. They have cheap stuff there. So, like, you know, like you pay the monthly thing. And then I forgot. You know you're paying more if you pay the monthly I thing. Know. Well, that, you know uh, you're paying more in the end. Th this, the was a, this was a long time ago. So I remember. You learned uh, your lesson, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Put us out. No. It's, not, it's a good deal if you need but, to build your credit. Yeah. But once you do, get the fuck out of there. And I remember. Uh, this is, Stop it. It was like four years ago. And I remember. Uh, what's it called? I was calling for her. Uh, and then. So the way their system works is your number is on their file. So they're like, hey, Martin Rizzo, are you going to pay your fucking phone? 
from 2000. Like, what the fuck? And I hung up. Like, you call him now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how did they know you? Because the, the phone number is. You owe shit from back in the day? Yeah, from back in the day. I you, before you were with Stephanie? Yeah, yeah. Damn. So they have your number on file Bro. associated to you, a fucking a thing, you know? That one, that they, you, they must have, you, it must have clicked an alert oh, when you called them, bro. Like, like when fucking in, in, in the last fucking. Terminator, when that Terminator lady was looking for, for fucking John John Connors, uh -huh. and then she couldn't find him, and then she she was looking for a woman, but then when she picked up that napkin and it smelled like his blood. Oh! <laughs> You must set off all the alarms, bro, that number. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. We got one. I, I, I think they're like, fuck yeah, we got them. We just keep them on the phone. And I hung up on you. I'm not. Well, I'm Damn, bro. Shit. Back in the day before you met Stephanie, before you you were with Kathy, you could have been in Squid Game with all that dead, huh? Oh, my gosh. Dude. <laughs> well, I'm trying to think what I, what I bought. Man, though. this guy, Eric JJ. I'm going to get some shout outs in a second, but this guy just called me fat right now in the chat. <laughs> he just said I put on weight. Yes, I have put on weight. Who's oh my? Who says shit like that? How are you doing, Eric JJ? Whatever your name is. That guy's fat too. Picture of you. Eric, where's this motherfucker? That guy's fat too. When he ties his shoes, he goes. I had four miscarriages in a two-year period. I think that. Uh, she has four miscarriages, people. So you feel weight. bad now? But you know, this doesn't help now either. This is another problem. But you know. She likes eating soup at night. <laughs> soup. <laughs> she likes eating a banana and a peanut butter well, the jar. It doesn't help, but still, he's just trolling. I just wanted to call him out. Oh, God, she likes making nut butter at 3 in the morning. Shout outs to Jesus Navarrete or Navarrete. Does Rick Navarrete say his name is Navarrete or Navarrete? I don't know the word, but not the, word, the right word to say it. Navarrete. 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 Because the E is pronounced in Spanish, right? Navarrete. Yeah. Uh, El Capitana, Sabrina, of course. I saw Greg Riley up there somewhere. Evil Young Patches. And Michael R. Uh, blah, blah, blah. FC, D, Adam Ramirez. Somebody else. The creamy one. The creamy one always trolling with his jokes. Unfunny jokes. But keep watching. <laughs> but keep watching, yes. <laughs> keep fucking watching. Buy all the stuff we promote. You, we're uh, some of you, uh, some of the guys. You got call talk space right now. <laughs> we yeah, don't have an ad today. Don't do them. Give them ahead. a free we'll, advertising. No, so uh, we're dude. Austin was cool. It was my first time there. I don't know. It was like a like a mini Portland or like a or they came out with the phrase "keep uh, Austin weird before Portland." Yep. And then I and and I was like, oh yeah, it, it clear. It makes sense because in uh Portlandia. The mayor of uh, Austin and the mayor of uh, Portland, they, they they call each other, and it's the same guy. It's the same mayor? It's the same guy, but it's uh, different. You mean the same t title? Same actor. Kyle oh. McLaughlin. Oh, Kyle McLaughlin. Yeah, but they, they're oh, I dressed see. differently. I see, yeah. I see. I'm ready for that one. But it, it's funny. Uh, no, I didn't see that one. <laughs> but it's funny because like, it, it, it's... But it's a cool city. It's my first time there. I, didn't, I wasn't expecting it like that. And uh, at the same time, they're, they're having a music festival when we were there. Uh, it was that Portland. Yeah, no, no, no. Austin. Oh, yeah. This is Austin City Limits. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a big. It's their big festival. Big. I don't think they've had it for a couple of years, and I think Stevie Nicks was like the headliner the night you guys performed. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. and it, that's why a lot of people were torn because they were like, <laughs> "Man, it's ACL." I'm like, who the hell is going to that anymore? And somebody said, "But Stevie Nicks is performing." But I bet Stevie Nicks blew up and started selling a lot more tickets yeah, after that Dogface that did TikTok? that video with Flex. Hell yeah. Mac. Because the young people don't know about Fleetwood Mac or Stevie Nicks. No. I they bet they looked up all her shit after hearing that song. It's funny because... Uh, it, it, oh, shit, that's a song that... Um, Dogface. Also, I'm starting menopause a little bit, okay? So I don't want to hear any more Fuck comments. that guy, Eric. This guy, do you, this, oh, my God. People, this guy doesn't know how to talk. To, let's get back to this. This guy story. doesn't know how to talk to women right here. Who says that shit, dude? <laughs> he's a guy that goes... He's a guy that says... <laughs> to, he's a guy go. that says to a girl... I love your dress, eh, but James your eyes are cross-sided. What would you say? I love your dress, but what? <laughs> your eyes are cross-sided. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who fucking? You guys should see her naked, man. When she moves her legs, her knee don't crack. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> My knee doesn't crack. So funny, dude. We'll, we'll, we'll. Oh yeah, I look at the shade, people. <laughs> Quarantine, baby. 
man. What's up, Food Podcast? Oh, man. Last, when we were doing our show at the... Um, Austin? At the Austin <laughs> Paramount Theater, I saw... My um, I saw my my graf- my my autograph from 20. a show I did back in the day, nineteen ninety nine or no two thousand three or two thousand one. It was two thousand. I think it was two thousand one. A lot of dates there. There's a lot of different. Two thousand one. <laughs> it was Willie Barsena, Cato <laughs> Rodriguez, Mike Robles, and some other comedian. We all signed it. Was that from? Uh, que Locos que tour. Locos? Damn, that's crazy, dude. And it, man, that's a full circle. Now you're fucking headlining. It's still right the same. <laughs> Dude, there was a crazy rainstorm over there. Yeah, man. Um, they went to go buy. We were on the way to go buy some vegan food. We were starving at the show. At a truck. At a truck. It was, eight, it was 0.8 miles. But it was like a normal walk at first. So um, Keith Manning didn't want to walk. So we tried to get these Razor scooters. So that fool, uh, he got mine and he got his. And we were riding, but we made a, we made a right turn instead of going straight. Oh, okay. So we went down to Sixth Street, so that shit goes fast. So we were down in Sixth Street. You could die. He, he said, "Let's go on. back up, dude." There was a bar in the corner, and by the way, um, Austin is built in a way to make everyone happy. You know, like it's built <laughs> like Portland. Like they built the city in a way so that every business. Can have a corner, right? yeah, or like, like you have like a little food stand, you know? Yeah, every 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 there's like a lot of corners, so a lot of corner restaurants, a lot of corner hotels, a lot of corner buildings, a lot of corners here, man. <laughs> so it's so different blocks, cutting corners, baby. So we went down this one corner, and we were going back up. There was a car, dude, that was parked in front of the security guard. Like, that's why if you're a security guard, don't dress up your car like a security guard. If you're not doing security guard patrol at a, your job, you're just asking for trouble. Like you kick somebody out. Oh, man, that must be the dickhead car that kicked me out. It has to be. Here's the police light outside of it. <laughs> so this car, this guy goes in his car, and man, he reverses his car and totally wrecks that security guard's car. It was like a, a four door paisa car. That all bro. happened when you guys were riding the fucking. Yeah, I just saw it. He went, burp! <laughs> and then I and then and I said, keep it nothing weird. And these chubby, these hipster chicks, they laughed. And then I, I went up the hill, bro. Right at twenty. Then a car, another car zoomed by me. That's when a storm started right there. I felt the wind pushing me down. So I made a left, bro. When I made a left, so did Keith. This fucking plywood flew over. I flew over where we were just standing. Like a sheet of plywood. It was a sheet of plywood, six uh. feet wide. It was a, the plywood that you put on a. On it's a, a store that that, that got that got looted on. It was one of these. That could no, fall. It was not, huge, bro. Life, it, was, it was just <laughs> flew over our heads. That's and and he was, oh man, fuck this. I'm going back to my hotel room. And I say, hell yeah, me too, bro. So we went, bro. It was raining hard, man. Like when we crossed the building, the rain came from the sides. Dude, that rain was in like it was, fuck. It was pouring for like at least like two hours. So we got to the the truck first. And then uh, right, uh, there's pro- there's like a line in front of me, and right when it started, when I was about to order, it started fucking <coughs> pouring like crazy. And there's a bar next to that food a truck, a gay bar, a gay bar. So we we were in we were raining inside the gay bar for like at least fuck almost two hours, because uh, we we're uh, we couldn't get a fucking ride back to the fucking. Uh, That's what Felipe said. They kept canceling on you, huh? They kept canceling because I think because uh, the music festival. Yeah. And then, uh, so we're in there. I didn't know it was a gay bar. I was drinking in there, like, having a good time. And then it was, it was a badass bar, dude. You were at Steve Denner now, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, because I'm, I'm used to it, cocksucker. <laughs> You're allowed to sit in there and have a drink. Nobody's going to no, bother no, no. you. But ha- I mean, I some people fun. might try to bother you. You're a little no, guy. So. I was kind of <laughs> sad that nobody was hitting on me. Because, you know, like, I'm like, what the Texas, fuck? Texas, they probably like bears. They yeah, probably yeah, yeah. They're bears, looking for right? a Drigo and shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're probably like, yeah, they're like, ah, oh, man. Did you go inside? He was waiting outside uh, for the Uber the whole time. Because, like, He's uncomfortable. Oh, no, I, I don't know that one, but like also he was just, wi- I guess uh, it kept showing that they were about to be there. Yeah. But I, I was, I was, I'm like, I'm going to be in here. It's fucking warm in here. I'm going to be outside. I, I was having drinks in there. It was fun. You were, your pants got wet, right? What happened? Your, your pants got wet? Dude, the my very shoes pants got he was wet? going to return. His show pants. <laughs> the only pants he wore <laughs> the whole weekend. My shoes got wet. My socks got wet. My shirt got wet. My pants got wet. So... We the only way we got back to the hotel was because uh, Keith Manning 
got an Uber to get to the fucking bar, and then he gave us a ride back. So they picked him up because that they figured that was not somebody coming out of the festival, and they didn't have to. They picked deal him up from the, the traffic. Ho- they picked him up from the hotel, and then he went, wow. and then we went back. Dude, we couldn't get a fucking ride. Like three rides canceled, and then fucking yeah, crazy. Well, it was fun. I went to my I went upstairs to my hotel room after the first thirty minutes of not seeing you, forty minutes of not seeing you guys, and I just lay there in the dark, and I and I saw a lightning storm, man. It was fucking insane, bro. Oh, what is it? <clears throat> it was a lightning storm. He's crazy. Crazy. Hand fight's coming back, bro. Hand fight, November tenth. November tenth. Woo! Foras is in the chat here. He we saw a guy who looked like Foras. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a a, a parking ballet guy. Ballet, ballet, ballet. He was from Vallejo. <laughs> I did I did a Spanish show with Foras like a couple months ago. Where at? Somewhere in uh, Ontario. It was it was at a Marisco's place. And my Spanish was fucking rusty, dude. But uh, what's it called? There's a lady from Mexico. She fucking killed it. She was singing. She was doing a pair of that song. Uh, it's all about the huh, about the huh. no tra- Megan Trainer song. Yeah. But she was singing about eating food like tortas, and it was funny, dude. It was a good parody. Was- so if I start a mukbang Instagram page, am I appropriating? No, because I, I know a lot of people do it. Everybody does mukbang. I know, but, that but isn't that a... Ribs. Yeah, yeah. Or the guy that black girl too, and then that chubby girl that eats Cheetos. Yeah, yeah. See, I could just eat the shit out of some noodles, I think, <clears throat> and just make a lot of noise. I didn't know that was that would be a thing. Does this girl? I, think I, I, I could, I do, could really do, do that. Does this girl I follow? And I pig uh, out. Man. She's um, <laughs> a white girl. Her name is Eric JJ. Points out how much I pig out. Her name yeah. is Tasty Something or Tasty Girl or I don't know what it is, but she be eating these big old waffles that did oh. <laughs> I don't want any big old waffles. That's not for me. I, I watched that one girl that eats like those uh, things that look like penises. That, that Asian lady, she ate like a fish, and then like, when she bites it, it pops or something like that. She eats a lot of stuff that bursts. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, that, yeah that lady, yeah, that, that yeah, Asian chick. That, that lady. But it's like it's those things that you just can't stop watching. Yeah, and she eats cheese, eats that soup. <laughs> she sucks everything the fish out of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, "Now I gotta wash my teeth." <laughs> and then, and then there's there was like. What? <laughs> Somebody said, "Now I gotta wash my teeth." <laughs> <laughs> I'm just laughing because the way Martin said it, it made me laugh. Yeah, I wash my wash teeth. My teeth. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> and then there, there, there's these, uh, there's these two, uh, there's these two gay guys. They're a couple. And if you see like their first mukbang, because they're they're memes all over Instagram. They're very very skinny, like three years ago. Uh, Nick Nico Avocado. Nico and Sucko. Nico and Sucko. <laughs> Bro, they're fucking big now, dude. Yeah. Insanely, like they're so they're like my size. Like, what are they? Uh, they're a couple that they do. Oh, muk- people. Yeah, oh. they do. They do a mukbang. Uh, they're a gay couple, and you they don't you can't you won't recognize them. Yeah. How they look now? How they look like three years ago? They're like buff. No, or they're fat. Fat. fat From doing too much mukbang? pasta. Huh? <laughs> Just pizza, burgers. See, El Capitan ruined it. He said that would be sexy, Lisa. See, over. Over. You can't do it now. He ruined it. Ruined. <laughs> You ruined it. It ain't about no sex. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't about no sex. Hey, I didn't know that Jenny. I just I did. I went down a rabbit hole with Jenny Six Nine. Jenny Six Nine, do, do, sing a song, bro. Soy la sixty nine, chingona from Riverside. That's it. <laughs> El Dios no, me dio talento. Like this, and singing like this and then the monotone. I don't even know the words. <laughs> hey, that's what it's like, but. I didn't know that she was... You just disrespected was... Riverside. <laughs> R- I didn't know coming back. that she was the girl in the meme. Can you pull up the Jenny69 meme? She's the girl who... You know that, that meme, meme where you say, like, I'm either this yeah. or this. There is no in-between. You know, like, either this or glam, but she's the this. I didn't know that she's either. She's the until... scrub, like, yeah, yeah. with the no makeup. Uh, you know, she has brown hair there. It doesn't look like her at all. And she's like has a slice there or something, a soda. Hmm. And do you see it? I don't know if you see it, but that's anyway, the old one, right? It, that's the old one. But like, <clears throat> I didn't know that was her because now she's had all this work yeah. and like makeup. See there that on the that's, right? That's the... that's her. And even on the left, that is not what she looks like anymore. She has wigs, pink wigs, blonde wigs. I mean, she has created herself a new face, new body, everything. I couldn't believe that was her. She looks like that comedian Esther Pavitsky on the right. Yeah, a little bit. Uh huh. Strange. 
Anyway. I thought it was Snow the Product. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I want to have Snow on here. I want Snow to be one of our first musical guests because that's another thing we're doing is we're building out a little area. That's our next focus, a little area in this warehouse yeah, studio that we have for performances so badass. that people can talk in here and have an interview and then a minute later go over there and switch our cameras to the musical performance. That's what I've wanted since day one and have not been able to get it. Like a talk show. That's fucking Like a awesome. fucking talk show. Yeah. Why not? Fuck yeah, dude. Why not? So let's do that. So uh, I want to have Kuko on sometime. I want to have, I want to have Tropa Magica back because they're one of our favorites. But uh, just have a place. I want to have Snowda product on and, and have her perform as well. And I want to get, Car you, you know that woman, um, what is her name? Reverie? No, Carne Acera. Have, have you watched her? She's a black girl who was adopted by Mexican Oh, parents, yeah, she's badass. And she and does she that. And she sings uh, mariachi mostly, right? She yeah. Mariachi, like, uh, corridos, corridos, mariachi, yeah. She does and a... she speaks Spanish fluently, and I, I want to get her on. We're going to get the card reader, some, too. Huh? Yeah, hopefully that woman, Moon Chola, she's going to maybe do a reading. This Moon week. Chola. In We're going to do live weeks. readings for people. And, uh, maybe. There, I got to work so that out with her. There's so many good, like, like, Latino bands, like, on TikTok that I've seen that have blown up. Fucking badass, dude. They're so good. So much talent out there. I know, man. I mean, not, it doesn't have to be just Latino, but of course, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's who we know mostly. Yeah. And, but yeah. So this guy with the Afro that we follow, too, the they go rapper. And he's not Latino. That kid, what happened? Oh, he is black again, gonna, right? I thought, no. Oh, wait, actually, he is. Yeah. He is black and um, <coughs> maybe Latin, Mexican. Mexican. Yeah. He has a big afro. He's yeah. like a, he's, he he's raps like a tourist B.I.G. Wasn't oh, somebody, yeah? like, didn't somebody discover him and then was going to blow him up somehow yeah. and then nothing happened? I got to find that kid. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, people. Somebody I'm said, yawning. somebody said, oh, no, no more Myrna Velasco's. What do you think about, uh, you want to talk about the John Gruden thing at all or what? No? Well, I bought a Ram set already, so I'm a Ram fan now. <laughs> you did not. <laughs> I, don't, I don't follow up on that stuff, especially when it's coming from people that are sharing it. But um, I remember last time, like, people, uh, when you talked about when um, Frank Castillo said, have you watched that Chappelle special? I don't give a fuck. But I've been watching it on memes, bro, and like, and um, I, 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 he, I, I, part I of the do. stuff that he said happened to John Gruden because John Gruden was being racist, you know, and um, he was being very um, machuist, machuistic. Machismo. Machismo on his Misogynous. comments about about women reporters, women in the locker rooms and stuff like that, and black people. But he didn't really get in trouble with, when he said all that. He got in trouble when he started making fun of gay people because they're serious now. Wait, and John Gruden or? Uh, yeah, John Gruden. Well, you mean like the Chappelle thing, what he was saying? Like. No, I don't, I'm talking about Gruden. He made fun of gay people too. Yeah, that's what mm. I'm saying. Yeah. 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 But that's what got him fired. That's the thing. It, but I think it was a building of it up of everything. I think that, yeah, the racist thing he apologized for, and then the team seemed to maybe have moved on, although they were investigating it. And then the gay and, and nude photos thing came piled on top of that and i think it was just too much and it was just like i gotta i gotta leave guys it's a distraction man the radar three and two now a distraction uh, anyway crazy oh somebody told me not to do that singing anymore that's not how i sing that's the way that girl sings with the, the auto tune i mean that is exactly how she sounds you want to play it can you pull up her video yeah <laughs> So I'm, I'm not exaggerating at all. That's exactly how she sounds. So in a I don't know the words, but she sings like this. I hate it when is like not, I don't like when you. It's a you, weird I like, tune. I hate that if you don't like something, <clears throat> I'll just a hater. No, I don't hate. I just don't like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. If you don't like it, then don't fucking listen to it or watch it or like the same thing with special. If you don't like it, don't watch it. You know, don't fucking yeah. Oh shit! It's on the headphones, Lisa. What? Me gusta el '69. She stood up on who, who was 69 for her, Takashi? Takashi, come on. Who the fuck was she? She probably just Five had 69 on her Instagram handle. That Maybe. was probably, you know. Get to the voice. <laughs> Skip ahead. Not, uh, <laughs> come on. Ha! <laughs> 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 
I'm not exaggerating. Because so I know 69, that's what she said. Que salió de Riverside. Wasn't too far off. Lisa la 69, que salió de Ohio. De la de Eton. De Eton. You know she has crazy fans for sure, man. Hell yeah, bro. All her fans shave their legs at the club. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> What's up, fool? Podcast, but see her style are the kind of chicks, bro. That um, when the kids have a toothache, they give them like ten Humphreys, bro. They go pass out. Yeah, her kids have uh, a silver Humphrey? teeth. Oh, oh, the liquor. No, Humphreys is the little tooth for. For a, a little medicine for for oh, kids, for they, they got rid of them already. It had alcohol in it or something. No, it was to numb them and put them to sleep. But it had alcohol in it. No, it had opium, I think. Oh, maybe no, not opium, but maybe like a benzocaine. Look it up, Humphreys Dental, or... Humphreys Dental medicine for kids in the nineties. Riverside. It probably dude. had like benzocaine or something in it, which is pretty it's much what's in it. Benzocaine. <laughs> Is she the most famous person from Riverside? No, right? No, River, it was Rodrigo Torres, bro. Rodrigo Torres, yeah, yeah. And then Buddha Glow Scores. Buddha is Buddha, more Buddha. famous yeah, yeah, yeah. than she is. Well, maybe not. She had like 3 million views on her video. 300 million? No, 3 million. I they think it's probably collab, up now bro. to 4 million now. And then Madonna and Malu, Maluma did a video. Oh, toge oh together, huh? Madonna's I haven't seen it, bro. been really disappointing me lately with the... There it is, Humphreys. What's in it? What's in it, Philip? Look at the ingredients, Philip. Read, read it for me. Report. Read it so we can remake it. <laughs> that right there, they used to give it to James, kids. James, you had a NyQuil addiction in the 90s in high school? Oh you were on lean <laughs> with the scissorp? The scissorp with soda? Did you scissorp. put it in anything or you just drank it straight? You're a suburban kid? You are in the valley, right? Yeah, yeah. Nothing to do. <laughs> people in the valley did more drugs than people in the inner city, I think, <laughs> as teenagers. Salute. Coronavirus. It's real. Coronavirus, coronavirus. Somebody said opiates are in there. Opiates are in there? I don't know. That's so. I Dude, give it to Tuesday, pass out. I took those edibles from, uh, I took two of those. They fucked me up, bro. Somebody said all her fans' kids have silver teeth. Yeah, that's, I said that 69. earlier. Oh, you did? Don't I copy me, that. guys. <laughs> that's all I have. <laughs> Dude, those edibles fucked me up, bro. I had to go take a nap in, uh, on my yoga mat. Bro, all the other girls who, who like that song, bro, their kids show up to school the next day with, with still punch in their mail. <laughs> they still have punch lips from their fucking uh, birthday party. <laughs> Jenny said... Like a, like yeah. a, a punch mustache? A punch mustache, people. Like her fans, for sure, they go to like those uh, Santa Fe swap meet, for sure. Her fans go to... Go to glam, Glamis, bro. Because, see, she was just doing makeup tutorials with my, first, With Rod right? and <laughs> She just did makeup tutorials first, right? Everything. Man. And then no blew idea. up from that and then decided to make a song? I don't She's Mina Velasco's daughter, but she didn't want to claim Stop her. Stop it. She's been putting in work for years, dude. Somebody said, Felipe, when are you going to send your avails to the comedy store? He don't send avails anymore. I don't send avails, but I show up and say, pull me up. Hell yeah, dude. But he also doesn't have any time. He's home like three days a week. I don't have time, man. Doing I got to take out the trash. Doing, <laughs> take out the trash. Doing <laughs> He's got a lot I got of chores when he clothes. gets home. <laughs> you do help out. I gotta, a lot like, I gotta you find. Home. I gotta look for caps. Man, I, I bought milk. I, I, I put. I made a bowl of cereal yesterday. I try to be all low key, right? And I, as soon as I poured the milk, you lose a cap. I looked around. I couldn't find a cap, bro. So I had to finish all the milk. <laughs> so I would have to you put it in there with no, with no top. Martin, what would you have done? In that I would have put a napkin. I would have got I a napkin. I knew it. I knew he was going to say stuff a napkin in there. I should have said it. That was my first choice. I'm but not saying that's a good choice. No. I'm saying that's what I, I knew he was going to say. I'm not going to leave a napkin anymore. What I do with now is I, I shove the, the, the sandwich bag in there so it could be closed. Oh well, that's better than a napkin. Is no, it? I don't need napkin no Saran more. wrap would probably be yeah, better. Yeah, saran wrap okay. be better. We don't have saran wrap. We don't have. Well, no, we don't. Because I know foil. the napkin would have gotten moist. You know what I did one yeah, time? Oil and baggies. When I couldn't find a milk top, I saw a brand new milk, and I used that cap with an open yet, and I put it on that one. But see, what happened was when, when that milk <laughs> was done, it threw the was. cap away. So now when they opened a brand new milk, there was no cap. That was fucked up. <laughs> oh, God. Hilarious, dude. Oh, my God. 
So that man gets so lazy, like I dropped the keys on the ground. I said, there ain't no kids are going to eat it. So I just leave it there. <laughs> I don't think you pick up anything that falls on there the ground. There you go. I don't think you do. <laughs> it worries me. Hush-ha! <laughs> All right, it's 9.30. What's up, Food Podcast? Thank you very much for listening to the What's Up, Food Podcast. Everybody who chats There are more people live. in the chat right Thank now you very than much, man. Right now. Woo! Orales. <laughs>